Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to this channel. In previous lessons, we just went through this path. We create an pipeline to help us to control an Excel that will allow us to generate the data and save the update. And then at the same time, we use the pipeline code to help us to generate a, an open hilo close format data into another Excel for storing the data. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is to create an other Excel, pretty much like a dashboard that will help us to connect to this data set and then display the result accordingly. The biggest challenge when we are working with this path is that we need to work with free Excel simultaneously. Because you could imagine that while we are continuous to prepare the data into an open high low close format, at the same time, these Excels will continue to extract these informations, the information from this data set, and then do the plotting. Therefore, we need to handle the flow carefully and also need to rewrite some code in the Python in order for us to avoid any potential clash. So let's see how we can do that. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing first, we'll continue to use the original Python code and extend the functionality in these refresh save functions. So the first change is here, we need to change it to this patch X. And in that case, while we are opening two Microsoft Excel applications, it will identify which Excel applications that it should control. So to be specific, why we need this, let me clear all of that first. When we use the dispatch functions to execute an Excel applications, we will just open and close with that particular Excel applications. However, at the same time, right now, we need to open another Excel with the use of that Excel applications. In that case, it will create a clash on opening or closing an Excel file. In other words, when we would like to close this Excel file, these Python functions will mistakenly close this Excel file. Therefore, we need to use this dispatch X to separately handle these two Excel applications. And then the second change is that we would like to not showing the Excel file while we're working with that. So in that case, we need to disable the displayed alert. So I will just create a few lines of code to control that displayed alert and set it as false. That means we are not going to display anything. And in particularly, I am referring to these Excel. I'm not going to show this Excel while we are showing this dashboard. So this is the, this entire code is the second changes. So when it is ready to display, I mean ready to set it as false, we can then just create another functions to help us to make sure that this Excel file is ready to be refreshed. We've done that before, but at this but for this time, we just add everything inside this while loop to make sure that that particular workbook, the Microsoft 365 
workbook is ready to refresh and make sure that it's got refreshed before it continues. And the fourth change is that I separate these functions into two steps. The first is to save the file and the second step is to close the file. I find that it's much more stable instead of putting these close equals to true over here. I mean, setting these uh, true, setting these first arguments to be true to save the file. I find that this way is much more stable. And then for the final change is that I need to handle one more potential error that is the attributes error with all these changes we are now ready to use these pythons to help us to continue to capture and update the data and then save into another excel file which is which serve as a database or data set so while data are writing into this excel file we can continue to read the data from this data set which allow us simultaneously plotting out the result so what you need to do is to run these pythons to help you to continue to get the data and update the data set and then click on this live and that will allows you continue to continue to plot out the result so for all those dashboards i've already put it into the community tape uh, but those resources are only available to members so once you are in please feel free to find out the pdf file and then for all these for the python programs you can download over here and then for the dashboard that i used it previously you can also download over here and say for example for the first dashboard that will be the forest dashboard you can download over here and the second one is the single stock dashboard and the final one is the multiple um, stock dashboard in that thing. So please feel free to join us. And that's it for this video. So see you in the next time. Bye bye.